So hey guys, uh, just come back from town and we have a shop there, it's called uh, Toy Town Price and they sell toys, you know, it's one of them discounted places and I I usually have a giggle in the window because they very rarely have anything cool in it but as I was walking past they had these guys. Now the nice lady in the shop said that they'd had the full set but these were all they had left. They had about six of Ray and about five of Peter. So does that mean then that in the packaging wise Egon and Winston there may only be one in each box? Because I don't see people going out of the way to buy those two. You know what I mean? So... But I do like these. I saw these when I was in the States and I and I Every time I was in the shop, I tried to get like a full set of them and they would either have loads of one and not the other and, and I kind of wish I'd just, <coughs> just bought them and, you know, done that. Um, so yeah, let's open them up and see what they're like inside. Now they're all held together with sellotape, as usual. That's sellotape, oh, there it is. So somebody mentioned that these were, because um, these are by Mattel, even though it doesn't say Mattel on them, as I've got a different sticker on there, you can see that, oh no Mattel's on the bottom, there it is. Um, apparently these are redos of the 30th anniversary ones that they did. Ooh, nice. The box is heavy. So this is Ray. And he comes with that part of the, which I won't take out because it's glued in. Is he glued in as well? Yep, he's got one on. You see, it's transparent, I can't see it. There we go. Oh, one around his arm as well. Is it the same one? No. Oh, there we go. Well, sing a happy song with yourselves. There we go. So that is Ray. Look at all these pieces of it's wrapped around. Well, there we go. So yeah, that's Ray. Well, they stand up quite well. The gun's got a really weird shape to it. It's kind of bent. You can see that. So I'll just open Peter while you have a look at that. Yeah, somebody was saying these were the, the like rehashes of the 30th anniversary ones. But since I never got the 30th anniversary ones, that's weird because Peter, Peter's got the um, no ghost thing with him and it's not nailed down. So I guess I'm going to have to start looking for these on uh, eBay and other places. did not want to come out. There we go. And that's Peter. Now Peter is slightly different because obviously if you remember in the film he never tucked his pants in. And there we are. So let's have a little bit closer up. Look. Yeah the guns do seem to be the proton packs the Positronic ones are a little bent, and his is definitely sideways. There we go. It is kind of cool that they are removable. I presume you can take the pack off because those straps do come. Yeah, you can. So there you go. That's the the back of the proton pack. Now these the sticker on these did say they were nineteen ninety nine. But they were selling them off at 12. There's the positronic wand. And there's the face. 
on the hoses. And that's a white hose, which I always thought it was yellow. But I suppose with a little bit of paint and a little bit of... I can change that. I'm not sure if I like the, that pattern. That doesn't look quite right. But still, for 12 quid, that is quite a nice piece of ink. Let's look at Ray. Again, his positronic wand. Does he want to be the other way around? I've got Dana Croyd's big forehead, so with advertising space. Now these are really the bodies are the same, the arms are the same, and the legs to there are the same. It's just the bottom half of Peter's because Peter didn't tuck his in. And I, um, from what I could see of the other figures, yeah, the other figures took theirs in. So Peter always had to be different. Now, I did have some of the um, Diamond Select ones. I think it's Diamond Select. But I, I sold them on because I just didn't like them. I don't know. They just didn't... They didn't look like the Ghostbusters. And plus you had to buy so many of them to build up like the walls and sets and things. And the Forbidden Planet, where I get them from, they were really, really expensive. So let's just have a, let's put the two together with the proton packs. And pretty much painted the same. The reds may be a little bit better on Peter's and vice versa. I say for, for the twelve quid I paid for them, I'm I'm pretty proud of these. I will go back next week and see if they've got another because the lady did say that they may get some more in. It was just they took a lot of finding because they put them on a shelf like that was right on the floor, and I'm looking all over them thinking, oh they'll have them somewhere, but all they've got was a load of Star Wars figures. Yeah. One day my dream is. To build one of those, I've got the um, I've got the Alice frame thing. Got in a car boot, and I did buy Positronic wand, one of the Mattel ones for a, <laughs> a large amount of money, which I think I have a review on here somewhere of it. Yeah, I think if you have a Toy Town store near you, or you know somewhere that still has these figures. I'd pick them up. I mean, it's, yes, they don't have all the fancy things of the Proton streams and things like that, but do we really need those? Nah. We just want the Ghostbusters. I would like some figures like these of the um, real Ghostbusters, the animated series. That's actually what I'm thinking of building, is the animated series Proton Pack. Because I know I, I was at a convention a while ago and there was a guy there that had that one. And somebody walked away, and as we were walking away, he nudged his mate and said, did you see the length of the... Did? And he started taking it to pieces, because this bit was wrong and that bit was wrong, and I thought, oh, get over it. So, yeah. If you've enjoyed this little ramble, um, you know what to do. Leave some comments at the bottom, some likes, some subscriptions would be fantastic. Uh, I hope you all have a great day, a great night, and I'll see you all really soon. Busting makes me.